it's grown into something so much bigger than any one person, than any one group. It's like a movement. Ah, oh, I got fruits for my fruit. I'm a fruit, you a fruit. I so right fruit. now we're moving over 100,000 pounds of food. We get the food and we tell everybody, hey, come and take it where it's needed. And then we pass it out at all these fridges as quickly as possible. I would say we'd reach at least 25 to 30 fridges. Manhattan, the Bronx, Brooklyn, South Brooklyn, Queens. It's not just complaining about food insecurity, it's like dealing with it. The beautiful thing about the community fridges is how easy it is for someone who's in need to access the food that they want and need, right? In a lot of cases where it's a food bank, people have to wait in long lines, they sometimes have to go through demoralizing checks for uh, about how much money they make. Whereas here, no questions asked. You show up, you open up the fridge, you grab whatever food that you like, and you keep it moving. Yeah, I think there's some stuff down here too. When I talk to business owners about starting it, you know, a lot of them are nervous because they're like, hey, what if somebody comes and takes all the food? And we're like, that's good, that's what we want. If someone needs that much food, let them take it. It's our time! <laughs> there has been times where I haven't had food. I was just living off of pizza every day. And so for me to be able to be in a position now where I can help, where I have the time to help, is like super important to me. Being a paper boy is about delivering to the community. And that's what we're doing right here. Delivering food, delivering knowledge, and delivering love. And I have a lot of songs about food. I have songs about fruit vegetables, milk. I could tell somebody to eat food, but then if I tell them with a dance, then it's like, okay, sure, yeah, sure, I'll have, I'll have a banana. So yeah, it's a lot of fun for me to use the music to also reinforce the stuff that we're actually doing. You know, it's like art imitating life. I, I see it from the fridges. I see it growing into people finding more unique ways to solve community problems head on. No one has to tap you on the back and say, hey, it's okay to give back. Hey, it's okay to do something good for your community. No, it's on you to be the change that you wanna see. If you wanna actually see things change in the community, you have to change the community. It starts with you. And when you do it, that's gonna inspire someone else and that's gonna inspire someone else. And if it starts in New York, then it's only a matter of time before it's everywhere in America.